good morning to you, a very good morning to you, and welcome to Facebook Live. It's me, Scotty McClue, the World Stop Broadcaster, and it's just five minutes past 11 on Sunday the 11th of June. Now, this is just a quick promotional video to let you know that tonight at 10 o'clock sharp British Summer Time, I shall be live here on Facebook Live. That is the big one, the big program that everybody's watching and the big program that everyone's talking about. Scotty McClure, live on Facebook Live at 10 o'clock sharp, British Summer Time, tonight, this Sunday evening. Make sure you don't miss it and spread the word. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 about Scotty McClure, live at 10 here on Facebook Live, the big one. The one everyone's watching, the one everyone is talking about. Now, tonight's programme, surprise, surprise, I am no political animal, as you all well know. And I am certainly not party political, but this week the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland has had a general election called by the British Prime Minister, Mrs Theresa May. Now... Very, very interesting results of that general election. The Labour Party made huge gains. The Conservative Party made huge losses. The uh, SNP in Scotland are down a little bit, and they are trying to say in the mainstream media this is to do with the so-called alleged, alleged fascination and obsession that allegedly the SNP has with Scottish independence and allegedly that was taking them away from doing the day job. This is complete and utter nonsense. So we have seen tremendous mainstream media bias and that's one of the reasons I urge you all to back me, Scotty McClue, with an independent media with no agenda, right? So I would urge you to do that. There's lots of GoFundMe videos, GoFundMe pages. If you've ignored them up until now, stop ignoring them now. Grab your debit card and put in anything. It's minimum one pound and maximum one billion pounds, brackets per day, close brackets. All right, so if you wanted to put a billion pounds in today, you could, but you would need to wait till tomorrow before putting another billion pounds into Scotty McClure's GoFundMe. Uh, GoFundMe.com forward slash Scotty hyphen McClure. So if you've passed it by in the past and gone, oh, I'm not bothering with that, uh, please revise your thinking and think we actually need the facts. We need the world's top broadcaster. We need Scotty McClure talking to us. Good morning, says Colin Brown. Good morning. Morning, my wee darling, says Elizabeth Jenkins, dinky-doo. Morning, Scotty. Aaron Stewart's watching with me, dinky-doo. Gaz Ronnie Jones, the SNP does the day job better than any party ever has. Jim, you're absolutely right. Scotland has never, ever been better run than under Alex Salmond and Nicola Sturgeon as First Ministers. And we've seen tremendous advances. If we were an independent country in Scotland, we'd be clear of all this stuff. We wouldn't need Brexit. We wouldn't need any argy-bargy. We wouldn't need the Tories' austerity. We wouldn't need cuts to disability, uh, to people with disabilities. All these dreadful, dreadful things that the country has suffered terribly under in the last few years. Scotland would be clear of all that. And um, one thing we've learned from this general election is that North East farmers should not drink or take strong drink before they go and vote. So there you go. So my advice to the Scottish people for what it's worth is do not weaken in your resolve for self-determination. All right, because it's non-political, it's economic and it's common sense. And the reason you think that the SNP may have been obsessed with independence is one, of course they want independence. That's why they have the backing of the Scottish people. And um, the whole thing is that they have also 
we have been told by the mainstream media that that's the problem how often have you heard opposition parties say ah yes she needs to get on with the day job she's doing the day job every single day day in day out that doesn't affect independence and any wee gripes that you've got look at the scottish nhs separate to the nhs the old scottish home and health department fantastic stuff so there we go so we have no gripe why people weakened and went over to the other side i shall never know but do not fall for headlines do not fall for mainstream media if you're watching mainstream media if you're listening to mainstream radio if you're uh, watching uh, mainstream television reading newspapers say who is gaining out of me reading this paper who is gaining out of me watching this program myself or someone else right and take all these stories and headlines with a sack of salt don't fall into that trap again so there you go that's what i'm saying about that uh who have we got good evening scotty says rimmelpa city over in australia good evening rimmel to you uh, what a shambles 13 tory seats in scotland 13 that's beyond a joke this is proof that there's a fair percentage of scotland are sick of the snp says gaz really does no i don't think they're sick of the snp at all gaz i think they've been told to be sick of the snp and they're not using the minds that's what your mind is for how often do you see mainstream broadcasters get a hold of some wee soul and they go oh I, I don't know what to think i don't know what to vote <laughs> it all confuses me right and if you're ever short of it say do i want to live in a country that is governed by itself right then that would be self-determination in other words what do the northeast farmers think that mrs may's government's going to do for them hmm? there's a question right who else have we got hi scotty rule britannia says alfred james right no alfred james right you're living in the past there you're not actually thinking properly all right britannia ruled the waves in 1805 right that was it they had command of the sea britannia no longer has command of everything they don't even have command of their own government imagine going cap in hand to a, a party in northern ireland to say please could you help us to get out of this so there you go so anyway interesting interesting times ahead this is all going to be discussed tonight at 10 o'clock sharp remember your view matters right i'm not giving you my view necessarily i'm explaining to you what's gone on here and that's what we're needing you won't get that anywhere else so i would say back scotty McClure. do as you have always done there we are uh scotland loves the snp says jim coyle see you at 10 p.m says jim excellent stuff join us then but always make up your own mind when it comes to elections guys don't be drawn in by mainstream media don't be drawn in by what they're telling you on the telly have you noticed that nicola sturgeon is scotland's first minister but how much coverage did you see her actually get all right so there you go and uh, also how much coverage did you see other leaders get how much in support of the idea that scotland didn't want independence how much of that did you see on mainstream media all right so look into all these things question 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 everything question me if you like and i will give you all the finest answers all right so there you go hi scotty when parliament resumes next week do you think we'll have a vote of no confidence and another general election in october well i would say i don't know if mrs may's got the same enthusiasm as she had a few weeks ago to call a snap general election but um i would say that would be a good plan and i'm also quite surprised that she's still there with a result like that brexit of course needs to be cancelled so somebody needs to get in touch with brussels and say look 
see all this Article 50 stuff, we were a bit away with it. We were argy-bargying amongst ourselves, you know, so come on, uh, let's see if we can, uh, can get back into your good books. But we want a better deal. So in other words, Britain will come back, but we want a better deal. I mean, have you noticed that the party that was pushing for Brexit most, the UKIP party, They've gone. They're, they are no more. They're <whistles> finito. Gone. Bye-bye. Ta-ta. So there we are. Uh, explain the massive Tory swing then. If the Scottish loved the SNP, then no other party would get a look in. Guys, in fairness to the Tories, they've done, I mean, I predicted this years and years and years ago in the radio, that the Tories would come back when I was argy-barging with Willie, who was a nationalist. Um, you know, and I said the Tories will come back because I used to uh, like the Tory party when they were a patrician party, but now they've changed, they've been taken over, you know, as the Labour Party were uh, at the time of Blair by people who are not necessarily of their persuasion. So there you go. So just be very, very careful. I mean, what do you think the Tory party is going to do for Scotland? How helpful are they going to be in helping the Scots to uh, towards self-determination? So think about that, guys, Rolly Jones, right? Fact. Uh, a small error by SNP supporters. They thought it was a done deal, so it didn't turn out in full. Next time they will, though, says Jim. Jim, very fair point. Um, Scott George says, down. Alfred James Wright, with me having an argument with the DUP, should the 12th of July become a public Holiday, ah yes, yes, the uh, the sixteen ninety, the Battle of the Boyne. Well, let's see what happens. And in fairness, although everybody's screaming and shouting down the DUP, a lot of people agree with them. So it'll be very interesting to see what happens. You know, I mean, these people that you see in an orange walk, they're not just there for the good of their health, are they? Uh, so, you know, they do have supporters and uh, had, it's interesting, Northeast farmers take note, had you not actually voted for Mrs. May's lot, weakened, lost your resolve, panicked and all the rest of it, had you not done that, then Mrs. May would not have got back in. Very, very interesting. You'd have had, uh, you'd have had Mr. Corbyn in line. Um, so there you are. And that's what the Scottish people have done this week. They've kept Mrs. May in power. All right. So take note, everybody. Your vote matters. Your vote counts. It was the Scots who didn't vote for the SNP who put Mrs. May back in power. Well done. There you go. If that's what you wanted to do. Well done, I say. Right. Uh, what else have we got? Yes. Can everybody share, 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 share. I will, of course, upload this promo, this short promotional video, onto uh, YouTube. And if everybody can spend the day sharing it, we will discuss it tonight. Uh, what else have we got? Lots more chat on here from you lot. Excellent stuff. Um, so, guys, hopefully that explains your Tory swing. They didn't realise that it would just put Mrs. May back into power all right and it's not sending a message that the scots don't want another indiref and indiref is not divisive right and scots should unite and look very seriously at it because remember i'm coming from this from an economic point of view we send 40 billion pounds a year down to westminster and that gets squandered on austerity and uh, scotty will be at the next walk for indy in August, says Patricia. I may well be, Patricia. On the other hand, I may well be double booked because what happens is I'm very, very maxed out at the moment work-wise um, with a lot of demands on my time. But I always do what I can. Uh, I will and will be with them, says Jim Coyle. Dinky do to you, Jim. Solidarity, I say. The Scottish people, regardless of their background, their politics, their race, their creed, their colour should look very, very seriously about being run from Edinburgh rather than London. All right, that's all I'm saying to you. 
Give it a thought. Right, I'm going to push off. I shall see you all at 10 o'clock sharp tonight, live on Facebook Live. Be there or be square. This is Scotty McClue saying to all of you, have a great Sunday and dinky-doo.